Hey you guys, this is Marcus Baker here and I'm doing a my career video and I'm going to do things different here. I'm just going to be just disgusting, disgusting and just more disgusting throughout this whole time. Right now I'm facing one of my, uh, I don't know who, like, I don't know what friend of mine has this car, but they do, but I'm going to stomp them, they I'm going to stomp them on their toes. Who, who would make something like this? Look at that. The arm tattoos don't even match. Like it's all pale and white. Just uh super kick to the face. What I wanted to talk about was Suke 18 and how you know I feel about the YouTubers and all the other shit. Cause a lot of my friends and a lot of also other people been saying, like, you know what man, you need to expose 2K18, man. Like, come on, buddy, garbage. Um, I just wanna let you guys here know that I didn't want to buy 2K18. I really don't. I didn't want to buy it. And I didn't. I got it as a gift. Because somebody went onto my account and paid for it themselves. Yes. Indeed, that was my parent. Went onto my PlayStation. Seen my account. Seen how much money. I was saving up the money to buy Call of Duty, by the way. She ends up putting more money into it so she can be able to buy it. And she pre-ordered WWE 2K18 for me. She said, oh, surprise, happy birthday. I'm like, oh, my God. So, a lot of my friends said, hey, bro, you got it as a gift and you just buying that shit. So, I just said, fuck it. But to be honest with you, 2K15, 2K16, and even 17, like, at the end of the day, they were all gifts. Like, I really didn't pay for them. Even with the DLCs, they weren't really paid for because, you know, most of my friends, especially the uh, S. Bangu later, shout outs to my nigga, um, you know, got me those DLCs. So I didn't really drew a dime for 2K in like for a few years now. And to be honest, I'm very happy. Pin that ref. I love that. It's just like, especially if the ref is on cue and he's right there, you get a perfect time. Like, pin that, count it, ref. You can just say that. Um, and now I'm just kicking his ass right now. You see how I'm just breezing through these matches, man. These matches are not hard, you know. By the way, I love that super kick. I've been loving that super kick since 2K14. And, um, there we go. That's the end of the match. As you can see, Becky Lynch is happy. You can see her smile. That's what I like for the managers. Um, I wanted to say how I still find it very disrespectful that the YouTubers are still getting early access to 2k man i feel as though it's disrespectful the reason why i say i feel as though it's disrespectful because i feel as though everybody should get the same game at the same time than having these guys and having the kids be spoiled saying oh man you know like they're living the fun they're living the fun of being superstars and all the other stuff all because you know a lot of little kids are subscribed to them and i've seen other youtubers that definitely deserve that light and to be honest with you Throughout the, throughout the YouTubers, I have to say that attacks will be the only guys that should, you know, get that recognition and be flown out and stuff. I want to say it ain't awesome to do, but it's just that some of the YouTubers are just plain fake. Their personalities are just absolutely bland. And, 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 and main, if the main fact is, some of them don't even know all the wrestlers, you know. They don't know any secrets behind them. They don't know too much detail. It's like... The littlest, it's like the little known person in the room, you know, it's not, the little known person in the room that has all the information is not getting the recognition, and to be honest with you, um, I don't know what Pulse is, uh, I think Pulse, um, he, he does have a few ideas here and there, at the end of the day, it's not no bullshit, even with his, um, even his, even his, um, reviews and recaps, of what happens on Raw or SmackDown or any pay-per-view, you know, he's not bullshitting, even he let his chat say whatever you, whatever they please, you know, hinder gender, all that other shit, like, I respect that, with think-ups, it's all gonna be kid shit, you know, and to be honest, it's real fucked up. Um, the thing is, is that Dink Ops, he started out as a Call of Duty, like, the areas of the Call of Duty maps, um, even then, he started out great. The thing is, CM Paul started from the bottom, gained a big following, and throughout all of that, he's staying with Attack Slug. And I've been loving Attack Slug, even with little kids on the comments 
was like talking shit saying, you know, while he was in character talking shit saying when he was grime just like trolling and shit. And, like I respected him because I don't he was just funny. He was funny, um, out of him and Grim, you know. Did his thing real nice and he was a great I would say internet heel. <laughs> Even though those are just two best friends, you know, having fun on the internet. Oh, man, he caught me with that. Um, as you see, I love this attire, by the way. I put my heart into this attire. Actually, a lot of these attires I actually put my heart into. Some, some of them I don't even try. Like, the first attire that I made that you see me wear on, on episode one and even on, like, episode, um, even on episode four, like, I don't really try with those attires. And this one I actually tried. I tried to think of a good idea. I saw the incension and I was like, hey, but I can make this blue one of my favorite colors and just go all out, you know? Put just put two logos in and that's it. Um Watch this about to catch me with this. Oh no. Speaking of oh no, I do like the fact that he's gonna be on uh, you know, eighteen. And the thing is what I did like when I saw from the moves is that there are a lot of knee moves and a lot of striking moves this year than, you know, slam them down type of stuff or reuse like moves like the spine buster. But the spine buster, I feel as though is definitely unique in its own way. Most of the spine busters is, um, it's like the Farouk way. You know, they have them up and they like, they're, like, they're holding their chest and they're slamming them down. I feel like that's how most of the spine busters, the new ones have been. And it just looks lazy because it's playing the same. Damn, Del Rio? Del Rio blocked my Carl Anderson uh, spine. But speaking of Carl Anderson, he looks great. Um, even Lou Gallows looks great. But I already know 2K was going to do this. I stated before that yeah, a year before YouTubers started to know the fact of how 2K is running and stuff. Like I even said on my channel, me and the Omega winner, you know, we've been said like how they are, you know. At the end of the day, I don't want to say, you know, oh, I was the first person to be right. Oh, I was the first person to tell, you know, YouTube about this. You know, like everybody on my following about this. As long as the message is out there that these motherfuckers are literally being absolutely, you know, cheap. Like, I'm good. Damn. Oh, my God. Super kicked them onto that table. That was actually pretty nice. Um, thing is about me, man. I have been chilling most of the time throughout the course of 2K18. Um, to be honest with you, I've been having a good time with my friends, you know, almost every day. Nearly almost every day I've been just chilling with them and having a fun blast, you know. Some days I don't come on because I have, you know, work to do and stuff like that. And some days I just go all out and we have good moments. That's why I feel as though this year there's been a lot of best moments because it's what we do. We know for a fact that we can get absolutely good ass moments just by playing the game and having fun and trying to beat each other. And we do things that most other people can't do oh by the way this is a pre-recorded clip so you just heard my ass sneeze <laughs> i had the mic on i usually turn the mic off so i won't have to I'll avoid stuff like that you know because sometimes i'll sneeze i'll cough or like you know or my coach will talk in the background in case you don't know who my coach is that is my mama yeah but nice spots to it um, there's a lot of majoring, a lot of back and forth. Um, I think like at the 10 minute mark, no, not the 10 minute. I think like this, like after like six minutes, I know it's like, okay, we're being out the ring too much. I got to win this match. I think someone's probably going to pin each other in the ring. I was like, okay, right, that's it. I got to pin them. I got to get the victory. I don't know what I did here, but these are all pre-recorded. These are not recorded like while I'm talking, you know. I wish I would have had my old editing software, which is Final Cut Pro, but my laptop is really getting fixed right now, so I'm still waiting for that. Been waiting for a while. He hits me with the oh my gosh, the half the half Nelson suplex. By the way, I love the animation of that because um, uh, Sami Zayn was one of the guys who definitely used that a lot. I do like the fact how. Everyone has a great unique pattern when it comes down to it. I, um, 
today, Road to Glory was uploaded to this. And I want to talk about that. The reason why I want to talk about that is because people are going to abuse that mode. You think not? They are going to abuse it. Any cheat way possible, these kids are going to try to do whatever they can. And to be honest, man, I feel as though I'm going to win a lot of matches. I'm going to lose some, you know, but I am going to win most of the time. Uh, that we was trying to go for his sig. I gave that to him as a sig, by the way, because I wanted to, you know. And 908 caliber. The reason why I call it the 908 caliber is my old area code. Like, it was the area code that I was born in, you know. I was born in uh, New Jersey, Elizabeth, you know. That's why I call it the 908 caliber. And that is one of the, by the way, me calling that the 908 caliber so much, I thought of the caliber kings. Um, I just want to say, whoever's watching this video, uh, tell me what you think about KWF so far. And just say, just, you can say simple things like, oh, it's good. It's all right. It could be better. I'll, I'll understand. I'll really understand. But if you're telling me, oh, it's shit, it's garbage, I'm going to tell you how. I'm going to literally ask you how. There you go. I think I slapped my leg there. <laughs> it's like, yes, I got it. <laughs> because the AR is so oblivious to the fact that I'm pinning Del Rio. Even in tag team matches, like, they will not help their partner one bit. And that's why I said, man, like, Alchemist keep, I'm an Alchemist, I, I play with him a lot. Alchemist 100, you know, you go check out his channel. His, his name now is the artist formerly known as Alchemist 100. Um, I do like the reference he did with that name there because Goldust and Nakamura used it. But on to our other clip here. I'm facing Del Rio in this uh, match. The thing is what they did with this match here. This is like a month after I lost my title to the Sorrow. Because I wanted to lose the title to go after another one. It's all for storyline. The storyline is that I'm going after every belt that this has to offer. And to be honest, doing that in this game is a hard-ass job. Especially when 18 is around the corner. Um, the thing is, it's just that... I'm having mixed feelings, and of course, everybody, every person, mostly people my age and not these kids, you know, will have mixed feelings about this. You know, I'm the only person that does, but, um, the thing is, um, with my storyline is that I'm coming back from injury and I'm beating everybody for every title. The thing is, I don't want to be the timeline gap of 17 to be real long, you know, but due to how the main events is, and how things are, you know, it's going to be long. So I feel as though I am not going to indeed finish my career. Because I'm not going to finish 2K17's my career. Because, you know, I got the game in back, in, back in April. You know, I got the game back, back in April. I started playing it, pulling out videos around, I think, I don't know. I think that April or June maybe. Yeah, I started pulling out videos there because I had my clips ready. But if I would have gotten this game in, like, January, then I would have been, you know, basically done with my career. I would have had good enough time. But I just don't now. And that's why I feel as though it's real sad that you can't do that in my career. It's really a big grind gap, especially when you want to work on other things. You know, you want to play other games. Um... These YouTubers fucking suck. Let's be real here. They suck at this fucking game, and it's absolutely sad. You know, give it to good players. Players that know what the fuck they're talking about. I feel as though they go into a room and they say, Hey, update John Cena. Update the New Day. We need more New Day. We need we need, we need more bootios. We need more humping, humping and grinding. We need more of that. Update Sasha's face. No, don't update Macho Man. Don't do that. That would be stupid. Don't update the Big Show. Why should you? You know what? Don't even upgrade Shawn Michaels at all. Even though people want that. I feel like the YouTubers can't even speak for their fan base. They literally can't. Most of those YouTubers cannot speak for their fan base. And that's what leads me back to CM Pulse in a tax log. Because I, it's just that me seeing them. You know, they are the guys that have a real big following on YouTube. Uh, for wrestling. That involves wrestling content. And that... They are just one of those guys that will actually use curse words, you know, and and try to sometimes slip around those curse words, and they're not too much peachy. They're not they're not giving you the BS. They're literally giving you the legitness. Like the other YouTubers, like Luigi PS3 or at Tony Pizza Guy, 
you know, freaking Tubby Emu, Dank Ops. They all suck at the game. Let's be real here. They're not good. They all suck. They all suck at the game. Like, if you say, hey, face Marcus Baker. Face somebody who has this amount of subs. Face, face, face someone who has, who has, like, you know, less subs than you. You think they're going to win? No. To be honest here, people like Attack Slug and CM Pulse are definitely underrated to someone like Dank Ops. They are the underdogs. They are the Daniel Bryan. They are the Sami Zayn. They're the Ty Dillinger. They are the underdogs. And they're not winning. It's not because of the fans. It is because of the fans. What am I talking about? It's because of the little kids fans that they follow. That's doing that. Hold up. I was checking my move here to see what other moves I have. I forgot. Um, I don't know why it wouldn't let me jump out there. I think it was because it came in the ring. That's another thing I want to talk about. How um, 2K is seriously going to make this into NBA. And that's why I mean. It's like stop it. Let it be its own thing. And some people actually had the nerve to say, Oh, it's looking like 2K. It's dope. Um, I'm like, bruh, stop it. And the person I was mocking there is uh, Funny But Bro TV. I respect that dude a lot. I rarely play with him uh, when he streams because I just don't have the time to. Um, I won his uh, 2K16 uh, tournament. I beat everybody. I even let the kid have a rematch, and I still beat him in a ladder match. And a ladder match, if you beat people up in a certain amount of time, you know, and grab the money in the bank, you'll win the match. The kid had three attempts to try to get me out of that match, and he failed all three. So that's what I mean by I'm going to win a lot of my matches on 2K18. Because it's going to be a lot of kids playing. It's going to be a lot of grown men who haven't played 2K for a while and definitely want to get back into it, you know? And do that to the hype that it's getting. It's getting the same type of hype that 2K15 had. The same type of hype, you know? And this is why I block it here. I don't like this animation. I feel as though he should just sweep him off him, you know? Still, He'll still be standing, but he'll sweep him off him, you know? Grab his arms and flop him to the ground. Instead of just, oh, I'm, now I'm lifting myself up. Because it's, it's weird. Um, 2K, ever since NBA, they could not handle animations. At least when it comes down to THQ, they handle animations. Even though you really couldn't interrupt some of them. But here you can interrupt. But the thing is, is that sometimes you can't interrupt some of these. So you have a combination of both. And it's just it's weird and it's stupid. Um, I got the pin from Del Rio. I won the match there. Becky's happy. And I, I randomly got this cutscene here. I don't even know why. And then they said, oh, you're in the rivalry with fucking Del Rio. I was like, oh, what? When he said they'll make a great team, I thought of the idea of having me and Del Rio as a tag team and having me and Cesaro back as a tag team. But I clearly, I clearly blew that off because... I know for a fact Del Rio is not going to be in the game. As much as I like him as a superstar, he's not going to be a video. So it'll just be a 24-minute discussion. I don't want to brag you with 30 minutes. Bad enough I do that with KWX. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, I just don't respect most of these YouTubers because they're just plain fake, and that's just simple enough. But these kids, they're definitely taking over the platform. And, it's, and I'm, you know, this, this new, it just shows how this new generation is very oblivious and they will defend if there's anything negative they will defend it as much as they can with so much bullshit like it's real crazy their comebacks are horrible and oh my gosh this is bad with them so here it is i beat del rio and i get another cutscene. del rio didn't shake my hand and the storyline was gonna go for this that okay if he's not gonna show me respect i'm gonna make him show me respect because Brock Lesnar didn't do it to me, Sami Zayn didn't do it, Hideo didn't do it, and this was supposed to be my boiling point. This was supposed to be me showing the same side I showed back in 16, where I was pretty much a tweener. That's the thing about me, I'm just like Roman Reigns, I'm just like Orton, I'm a tweener. Here it is, I'm facing one of my, uh, one of my friends that play online, Mark Evans, which is Joshua17DX. He's an asshole, but, you know, he's funny at times. And look at that. Caught him with that hands ring. 
Um, see that? It's cheap shit like that. By the way, speaking of that handspring, the animation is so messed up. Is that if anybody hits you with that move, you're, sometimes you're a, your superstar won't even move out the way. He'll really stand there. Um, with promos this year, the promos was a absolute big failure. It was a big failure this year because people try to pull out on YouTube. Oh, this is how you you can rise up the bar, you know, on the tutorial. I'm like, that's bullshit. I can do the same exact thing. Oh, you just gotta randomize it. It's random as hell. And to be honest, when it comes down to promos, you should choose what you want to say, not for it to be, you know, random because it will make no sense. It has to say, hey, this is a heel thing to say. You'll get this percentage of the mic skills. You know, like, that's what should happen. Because why should it be a challenge for you to do a promo? It's so stupid. It doesn't even matter if you're level 3 or anything. You have everything maxed out on level 3. It doesn't matter. Like, to be honest with you, I have four. I've done so many matches online with my boys. I have over 6 million. 6. Six million VC. It's ridiculous. Um, I could easily just. By the way, if you want to start my career on seventeen, you're gonna have to spend at least about three million to max out anything. Three million for I, I I'll say I'll say four at best. Four million to four million VZ to max out a lot of things. What is this here? Um, I do respect the fact that uh, Road to Glory is showing new things, but to be honest with you, it's like my team. If you've seen NBA my team, you, you'll have these things. Like, you'll win prizes to get a selective NBA player, such as people like, you know, oh my gosh, such as Michael Jordan, you know, Scotty Pimpin, freaking Kyrie Irving. You know, they did that with my team. They even did that with um, the ultimate, you know, in Madden. So it's pretty much using the same formula, but they're using it in wrestling. So basically, we're just going to be playing, you know, WWE champions, to be honest with you. Uh, the bonuses. I just want to see how that's going to play out because if my superstar, if I do not get a good super kick, um, you know, a TKO at all, I'm going to be pissed. That I have to work my way up that bad, you know. So here we go. At the end of the day, it's still going to be a grind, but it's going to be an easy grind for me. It's just the fact I'm just going to have to beat people up. I know it's going to be people that's going to play that 24-7. Because there are people like that out there. Right now, I'm kicking Mark Evans' ass. Um, I, I have been looking at a lot of rumors and dirt cheats lately. You know, with uh, No Mercy and all of that stuff. Um, I wasn't... I, I was actually surprised that Alexa Bliss was the winner of that match. And the thing is, it's just that it's just soggy finishes after soggy finishes. You'll get more better endings to a match at a live event than a WWE pay-per-view. It is really weird and awkward. And look at that. Even the damn Tron at the bottom was glitching. Even the Tron at the damn ring was glitching. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, this game, no matter what, it has more flaws. And you have more flaws than the, P the PS2 and the PS3 versions of the wrestling games? then you're bad. They may look good. It looks good. It plays shit. That's the thing at the end of the day. Well, that's it for you guys. I have Marcus Baker. I am out of here. I am going to do um, probably a part two today or tomorrow to this. But see you guys later. Peace out. And have a great day. Oh, by the way, these won't be in the best moments. So enjoy them. Because I'm... Um, Best Moments Part 4 is coming up, and just want to give you guys a sneak peek, just look at that, so these are the matches we literally just did like last night, look at that, absolutely amazed, gave him that Cassius Ono elbow, um, this is what I mean by 2K cannot take animations too well, just look at that, makes no sense, but uh, 
definitely enjoy these, man. Like I said, me and my friends be having a blast. Look at that. How? I hit the close. I think that was right in front of him. I should have got the spear. It's a spear. Brother, uh, other than that, look at that. I like that form that he did. It was just a great timing there. Alchemist is next. And this is the one with the audio, yeah, I but. <laughs> nope. I'm just not going to probably put this in the best moment. Earth people, I was born with you. I was not born in helicopter <laughs> land. <laughs> I have an ugly ass man. Please stop it. Shut your mouth. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that's a beautiful Rain form man. of the Rainmaker. But anyway, you guys, like I said before, um, comment, you know, what was your favorite moment out of that? And definitely comment, you know, how was KWX so far. But other than that, have a great day. Bye.